everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to be discussing the return of the big dog Roman Reigns. Yes, yesterday it was announced on Twitter and Instagram, possibly Facebook. I don't know, WWE be blowing up social media, especially when the big dog is finally returning. Yes, to Monday Night Raw, guys. The big dog is going to return to Monday Night Raw next Monday in Atlanta, Georgia, I actually almost went to the show. Me and Face Wife have been discussing possibly going to the show. I don't know if we're going to go now, but we were going to go, and that was before Roman Reigns was approved for this show, and she really didn't want to go. We were going to go, and then she was like, well, Roman's not going to be there. I don't want to go, and then freaking now he's going to be announced for the show. We may buy tickets last minute, but I will let you guys know on that if we are going to go to that show. However, the big dog is returning to Monday Night Raw, and he is going to be addressing an update on his battle with leukemia obviously months ago he did have to walk away he was the universal champion he laid down the universal championship in the middle of the ring he had to walk away for this battle with leukemia and everybody was very devastated by it obviously it came out of nowhere and everybody has been awaiting his return me included and we've uh, you know we've talked about him multiple times on the channel you know I've been praying for him every single day so I'm hoping that he is going to say that he is returning full time, but that's what this video is about. We're going to discuss, you know, maybe what his plans are, what is he going to say on Monday Night Raw, what I think he's going to say, and what I hope doesn't happen out of this scenario. I did see something yesterday. I did have to take notes for this video because I feel like sometimes when I make these videos talking about news and stuff that I forget to talk about some extra key points that I wanted to mention to you guys for you guys to think about, for you just to run by you what you thought, your thoughts are on my thoughts. So here we go. Starting things off, there was a rumor going around yesterday that apparently there is a storyline for Roman Reigns to have a potential six-man tag match at WrestleMania, and this is going to be the match. Apparently, you guys know the feud going on right now is Braun Strowman taking on Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, and Trash Corbin, and nobody's interested in this feud, man. I mean, who gives a crap about this? It was the least interesting thing that happened on Elimination Chamber's card, and I was just totally, guys, I tore, I've torn this feud apart since the beginning. Braun Strowman has been treading water, doing nothing. They keep putting Trash Trash Corbin on TV for some reason. Bobby Trashley, I mean, he just lost the IC title. Drew McIntyre, I mean, they, all these guys are just running around. And uh, there was a report yesterday that this is the rumored matchup possibly for WrestleMania. A six-man tag between Braun Strowman, Dean Ambrose, and Roman Reigns, the big dog's return, taking on Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, and Trash Corbin in a six-man tag match. If they return Roman Reigns after this beat, he hasn't been over. He's never been hugely over. He's been despised by the fans. You know, he, he goes away to fight leukemia and you know he's going to be over his crap now that he will never be booed again that's just the facts of it he's never going to be booed again and he is going to be super duper over and you're going to leave this man and let him go away battle leukemia and then you're going to return him for this bs right here this terrible awfulness feud right here to help out braun Strowman. first of all dean ambrose turned on his brother Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns on the night of his announcement. So why in the hell would Roman Reigns want to come back and be friends with Dean Ambrose? That absolutely makes no sense. Another thing that ran by me, there's obviously rumors going around that Kevin Owens and possibly Sami Zayn could possibly team up with Braun Strowman to fight this six-man tag. That's a terrible thing to do, too, because that's just, that's just, what in the hell? Like, Braun Strowman practically buried Kevin Owens before he went away with injury. So, I don't know, man. They, they just need to do away with this feud. Hopefully Roman Reigns does not come out on Monday Night Raw, and I know I'm going to be holding my breath the whole effing time, guys, because I do not want the big dog Roman Reigns. I do not want Roman Reigns to come out, cut his promo, let us know exactly what he's going to be doing. Is he going to be back for WrestleMania? Is he going to be entering Monday Night Raw for full time? I doubt it's that. I doubt he's going to be at WrestleMania, but if this rumor is true and this is your potential matchup, I, I don't know what to say, man. I think that's the biggest waste of time. It's the waste of talent. And it is a huge waste of Roman Reigns' return full-time. Another thing that I wanted to discuss is I hate that they announced it on social media. They must really be just begging for ratings at this point. Because if they're going to announce Roman Reigns after he's been away for so long on social media saying he's going to be on Monday Night Raw, they are obviously trying to get eyes on the product on Monday Night Raw. So 
I think that that is messed up that they're going to be using Roman Reigns just to attract ratings when nothing is a surprise anymore. I mean, I can understand you want more eyes on the product, so why not, you know, uh, market Roman Reigns, promote Roman Reigns, and have him on the poster. You know, he's going to be on Monday Night Raw, so make sure you watch Monday Night Raw. I understand it from that perspective, but at the same time, I think that it's a big uh, waste of a surprise. Can you imagine everybody chilling in Atlanta, Georgia, and the Big Dog's music hits? Are you serious, Brad? The freaking place would have come unglued. I know the place is going to come unglued anyway. It's just something that I thought of. It's it's just so crappy because if they would fix Monday Night Raw, if they would make Monday Night Raw something to watch every single week and it wouldn't just be uh, person A versus person B every single week and they didn't have trash feuds and trash matches and terrible Lucha Party versus Revival every single week and Riot Squad versus Bailey and Sasha and Natalya every week and freaking just over and over the same matches. Baron Corbin versus Braun Strowman or Finn Balor versus Bobby Trashley or versus, you know, Trash Corbin 862 weeks in a row, then people would want to watch the product if it was good television, if it was good product, people would tune in anyways, and then you could surprise people with Ricochet and Aleister Black and DIY, and you could surprise people with the big dog Roman Reigns with his return, and you could have these epic moments, but instead you have such a trash product that nobody wants to watch. Therefore, you must promote with Big Dog Roman Reigns. You must promote with names like John Cena and stuff like that way in advance so that people buy the tickets and it's just upsetting that we just don't get that surprise factor anymore and it really sucks. As a wrestling fan, as a longtime wrestling fan, you know, as a kid, Monday Night Raw, if you miss Monday Night Raw, you like it, like you miss, Stone Cold Steve Austin can return at any moment. You, you miss TLC matches and title changes and epic feuds like you know, defining moments and these crazy things that would happen during the late 90s or early 2000s, like just random crap would happen, and now the best you get is Braun Strowman just flipping over something random again. But anyways, getting back into Roman Reigns returning, I honestly do not know what the man is going to talk about. Obviously, he's going to cover his, his you know, battle with leukemia, which is going to be a nice update. It's good to hear from him. I've seen pictures. He's obviously obviously been filming Fast and the Furious or whatever that movie is with The Rock. I, I can't remember the name of it. But uh, I know that he's in good spirits. I know he's looked great, and I'm excited to hear what the man has to say. I've missed the man on TV, uh, believe it or not. I obviously, I haven't been like a huge, huge supporter of Roman Reigns. I've always liked Roman Reigns. I like the character. I like that, um, you know, his, his look is bad A. I think he's a great wrestler in the ring. And obviously they shove him down our throats, or they did shove him down our throats, so that was something that I wasn't a fan of. But I'm excited to see what the man has to say, and I'm really looking forward to Monday Night Raw to see what the big dog is going to say, where he's going to go from here. Is he going to get inter interrupted by Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, and Trash Corbin, or is he going to, you know, uh, not enter a feud? Is he going to be at WrestleMania? There's a lot of answers that we're looking for headed into WrestleMania season. We got Fastlane coming up. Hopefully, Monday Night, like mo last Monday, did they build anything towards Fastlane? Absolutely not. So, I mean, it, they're going to have to use these next two and a half, three weeks to build towards Fastlane. Is he going to be back at Fastlane? We, we just don't know. So it's going to be interesting for sure to see what Roman Reigns has to say to the WWE Universe upon returning. Again, I hate that, you know, it's not going to be a surprise, but I am happy th at the fact that he is returning and going to speak to us. But I hope to God it's not this few guys. If this is a WrestleMania match right here, I, I don't know, man. That is just terrible for Roman Reigns. I mean, I'm, I, I, I'll be happy to see him back in the ring, obviously. But, I mean, that's just a waste. I, I, I cannot stand it. I think that these three right here are just... Or Drew McIntyre's fantastic, and I hate that he's wasted in this in this space right here. And I don't know what the hell's going on with Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is confused. He's talking to Seth Rollins and asking where Seth Rollins is. He was a heel, and he turned on Seth Rollins. We, always, we all thought that it was going to be this magnificent heel turn. It turned out to be absolutely nothing. It was a terrible heel turn. Their feud was terrible, and his heel character was terrible. He just dressed up like Bane for a couple weeks, and they, they had a terrible match at TLC or wherever that was. It just... Man, it's just so many missed opportunities, guys. But hopefully, Roman Reigns will tell us some good things. And I'm excited to see what the man has to say. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I just wanted to address those different situations. I think I've covered everything. I tried to take note of it and make sure that I told everything a part of the story. I wanted to address the surprise factor. I wanted to address this six-man tag rumor that is absolutely atrocious. I wanted to address, you know, Roman Reigns coming back and what the man could possibly say. Is he going to be at Mania? All of that good stuff. So I think I have covered everything. Hopefully I have. 
and you guys can sound off in the comment section below. Tell me what you think. Do you hope Roman Reigns, is, do you find this six-man tag interesting at all? Are you excited for Roman Reigns to return? I'm sure everybody is, but let me know down in the comment section below, guys. But that pretty much does it for today's video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.